Hello everyone, you join me here at um, Paddington's Eastbourne Terrace entrance. There is Paddington Station itself. This is the new Elizabeth Line entrance, which at the time I record this video uh, has still not been opened yet, but by the time you see this video, the Elizabeth Line will be up and running. Tell me how it is in the comments. Today, we're going to be playing another game of Transport Roulette. Obviously, we won't be able to get the Elizabeth Line today, but let's see what we will be able to get from today. Oh, got the wrong phone out. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you know in a minute. Okay, here is our all-important Python program. I've changed some parameters on it, so it's a bit more random. DLR, we're not going to get that at Paddington. It's the moment of truth, the suspense. Bus. 378, south slash westbound, 10 stops. So you need to find the bus route that is closest to the 378, and add southbound or westbound, southbound or eastbound, sorry, for 8 stops. Okay, closest bus route is the 332 towards Brent Park Superstores, which I believe actually might be up there right now. No, that's the 205. The bus stop is just around the corner here, and we are going 10 stops. My mistake, there are two stops at Paddington Station. We are going to Colton, uh, was it Coltonville? Something made of L Station, so we've got a very nice uh, Me 400 MMC from Cricklewood here, which will take us there. So, See when we get off the 332. Right, here we are, Elgin Avenue, Maydeville Station. That was our bus, not a, not a nice bus at all, to say the least. Very rattly. Here we are, the St John's Wood area. Obviously uh, near Maida Vale station, so we might roll that. Exactly what we wanted. Tube, south slash eastbound, two stops. Is that Paddington again? I swear to God. Yeah, Maida Vale, quite a pretty station, isn't it? Obviously Leslie Green inspired. I guess in this Bakerloo line, south slash eastbound, two stops from here. Oh wow, yeah, it's very nice inside. Look at this. Here is our train, Bakerloo Line 72 stock. Wow, which will take us down to Paddington. Not too sure what that noise is coming from the front. Welcome to Paddington again for the second time today. A lot of people get there with their suitcases here, obviously. Okay, we've got National Rail southbound slash eastbound, 14 stops. Ah, National Rail 14 stops, you know where that's going to fling us? That's going to fling us to Hayes and Harlington, isn't it? Hayes and Harlington, or West Drayton. I'm not sure whether GWR stop at West Drayton or not. <laughs> so we know where we're going now. National Rail, Southland slash Westbound, 14 stops, somewhere in the far west of London. You can see the departure board, CFRO, GWR, we can't get that GWR service because it's a Swansea service, and that goes outside the Oyster Barriers because it's first stop is at Reading. Morton and Marsh, we can't get because that's one's first stop is Slough. Um, uh, we can get the 1056 to Didcot Parkway that's just been announced now. And that, and that is from platform 14. And that should be a class 387. Come to a nice quiet end of the station. 387142 is the rear unit of our service to Didcot Parkway. Our front unit is just at the right, very front of the train, is for its M149. Double Great Western. Let's get on. And I'll see you at West Drayton. 
Oh, I've got the SEO announcement somewhere. Any items of Here we are, it's a very sunny West Drayton. It's on the Great Western Main Line, of course. Got a Great Western Railway for it's in 149 and 142 here, which brought me in from Paddington, of course. The train is now departing. In the meantime, I'll load up the programme and see what mode of transport we're getting next from here. So from here, we have Great Western Railway, of course. If we get another, we can't get another westbound service from here, so that's all good. Um, Elizabeth Line, we can only get eastbound as I said earlier, this is the limit of the oyster barriers. Uh, and we've also got multiple buses departing from outside this station as well. Elizabeth Line, southbound slash eastbound, four stops. Um, we cannot go southbound, we can go eastbound, so four stops. Completely ignore the fact that there's a freight train sitting in the loop here. I'm not too sure. This is this might be Hazen Holland and Stone Terminal. Or well, siding before that, I don't know about the mainline freight terminals very well. Anyway, we've got a train in five minutes. Uh, calling it Hazen Holland and Southall. Ah, okay. This one is a fast service. And for to that. In which case we'll be uh, getting off at Ealing Broadway then. We've got a central line available from Ealing Broadway, we've got local bus services, we've got um, Elizabeth Line if we really want to again. Let's see when we get there. Well, first of all, we'll see when our train arrives. Okay, there's arriving now is the 11.24 Elizabeth Line service to London Paddington High Level, which will be taking as far as Ealing Broadway. It's very nice today, it's a bit too warm for my liking. But the forecast is it's going to be 20 degrees today. Three four five zero five three. It's a bit ram this one. Let's see if we can find a seat. Okay, here we are, Ealing Broadway. Another major station on the Great Western Main Line, massive interchange. When I say massive, you see why. We've got buses available, we've got Central Line, Elizabeth Line, GWR, the lot. So as we film this train depart, let's run the programme. Oh, so the district line is running today. That was an S7 whistle. Oh yeah, the district line is running, but they're only running to High Street Ken. They're not running all the way through to Upminster. Okay, so what are we going to roll now? Tram Emirates Airline, good luck getting that kneeling. Tube south slash eastbound, 13 stops. 
Okay, we'll roll one for central, two for district. Uh, okay, so we're getting district line. So we are going towards High Street Kensington. 13 stops, and we'll work out where that is when we get to the platform. Sandford Brook 5, Ravens Court Park 6, Hammersmith 7, Barons Court 8, West Kensington 9, Ells Court uh, 10, High Street Kensington 11. So we're going all the way to High Street Kensington. It's not very often you see services running from um, Ealing Broadway to High Street Kensington, is it? So we'll see what we get from that. <laughs> I guess his train's been curted. Mine, if you said mine, you'd be correct. I was caught. <laughs> oh. That's slightly annoying. From here we've got Piccadilly Line. Piccadilly Line are only running as far as Acton Town today. Uh, we've got many um, bus services uh, from here as well. First of all, I'm going to nip out and see if I can grab some lunch because I am quite hungry and I didn't have breakfast. I had breakfast at half six this morning and it's not. It's funny how I can go six hours without a meal, isn't it? Anyway, <laughs> I, I will join you back very, very soon. Okay, we're outside the Scott Tube Station now. And it's uh, time to roll again. I've got my lunch and we are awaiting our next mode of transport. Bus. I'm not sure if you can see that. 453 southbound slash eastbound nine stops so 453 southbound eastbound nine stops that'll be the 328 are you allowed to buy a coach ticket from Ells Court to Victoria? I mean coaches stop at Ells Court can't buy a ticket to Victoria I'm not sure why I'd want to but I certainly would do I can see my 328 in the distance we have a Gemini 3 Chelsea World's End. Right, we'll be taking this one four stops to the terminus. Again, just got the 328 bus. This one's the um, newly refurbished one, so it's actually quite pleasant to travel on. We are at Limeston Street or Limeston Street. We are in uh, Chelsea, one of the most affluent neighbourhoods in the world. Uh, just down here is Kings Road, uh, where we will be able to catch our next bus from. Uh, no tube connections are available from here, uh, unfortunately. Chelsea doesn't have the best. Uh, rail connections. Sure, I remember it's a line, not going to get that in Chelsea. Overground the Elizabeth Line, no. National Rail, no. We know it's going to be, be a bus. I'm just waiting until we roll a bus. Why do we never roll bus? Bus 203. Northbound slash westbound. Uh, nine stops. What is the closest bus route to that? I think it's the 328 again. Have a look. You know, it's really annoying. Three to eight isn't supposed to, isn't turning up for another fifteen minutes. Despite it's literally just right around the corner. Three to eight turns up. That wasn't on the app. No, in the opposite direction. So we are getting the three to eight after all. Nice top deck view. Set up here for nine stops. I, I've got no idea where we're going because I've literally just um, saw the bus coming in the other direction. Bloody hell, it's summer now, isn't it? You can feel how warm it is. Remember where we were supposed to be earlier, but our train got cancelled a few minutes ago. We're here at High Street Kensington. Where is our 328 that we've just got off? And it is time to roll again. There is High Street Kensington tube station over there. You might just be able to see the Randall in the distance. Uh, Overground, we're not going to get that here. DLR, I'm not going to get that here. Tube, northbound slash westbound. 11 stops. So we are going northbound. 
right the way up to Edgware Road, I believe. So, we're going to be getting district line service in three minutes' time. Three minutes' time, Edgware Road, you might see that on the parch boards. If the 50 hertz anti flicker thing is working. Yes, High Street Kensington. Here's an interesting question for you. Can you name another station in London that has its roundel name, or the name of the station on the roundel spread across two lines, like we have here? Most stations can just fit on one line. For example, Victoria. They can, or any station that's more <laughs> one word long, I guess, can. But can you think of any station that can only fit on two lines, like we have here? As it comes in our train, Edgeware Road, District Line. So we are wide there, dude, off on a bank holiday, it's always really busy. So we are arriving into Edgware Road. Jesus Christ, look at that train, it's rammed. This is why you shouldn't run a Saturday timetable on a bank holiday. Because it's busier, if not busier, than. Uh, yeah, it's busier than on a normal day. You've got trains running every seven minutes, and passenger platforms have just got hundreds and hundreds of passengers on. Just doesn't work. Anyway, I ran over. I'm going to go home to Sonny Potter's Bar now. I will see you in another video. Uh, have a great summer, everyone, if you are uh, going out on holiday. I, I hope to get this video out before <laughs> I, go on, I go on some holiday. I'm very excited about what I'm doing. You'll probably see updates on that very soon. Anyway, I will see you all next time. Have a good one, everyone.